Oh, we've got Bang Face Weekender. They've announced their um, headliners, I think, for the next festival. This is a new one. I've not really heard much about it, especially on social and stuff. Um, I know the resident advisors always speak very highly of it. I've seen a few people have seen a few videos here and there that really like show off as a fun festival. But it's a really cool festival that I'm quite interested to, to go to. Actually, um, it's called Bang Face Weekender. It says here they they booked uh, Square Pusher for 2020. Uh, Tom Jenkinson will also premiere a new show at the UK Festival with Fabio Groove Rider and Helena Hoff, who's I think been there I think twice in a row now. And Venetia Snares also booked in. Uh, Bang Face Weekend has revealed its 2020 edition. Square Pusher will perform a new show, and there's going to be alternate eight: Luke Vibe. Helen Hafner, Sir Helen Hoof, Jungle Pioneer, Lenny the Ice, Clara Intellect in Intellecto, uh, Cfex Acid, um, DC Breaks. Going down between March the 12th and through March the 16th at the Southport um, Holiday Inn Park, which is amazing, right? This will be the 11th edition of the Wacky Ray Festival. Learn more about Bang Face since edition of the hour recorded here. But let me just, there's actually a video here actually that, that shows a little bit of it. It looks quite interesting, man. It's kind of what would you say, Gabber influenced? Just the most wacky music ever that you're ever gonna hear. But it looks really, really fun. And kind of reminds me of the old school rave back in the day in the UK, right? The old the old forest raves that everyone used to go to. Very much forward thinking, very much alternative. Look, there's a, there's a party in a swimming pool. People wearing, co it's like costumes all over the place. Probably a bunch of acid and LSD being consumed by everyone around the place, but it looks fucking cool, man. I would love to go, actually. Um, I think that the interesting thing about tickets is that you have to book, a, I think, like a chalet spot. I think every year, every ticket comes with a chalet. So there, there's no camping. You have to kind of book the chalets around the holiday park there, which is a bit weird going forward. But it's, it looks really interesting. I, I really would like to go. I think there's actually a video here that I kind of saw. Bang Face Weekend. Let me see if I can find it. I think um, it might be a video from Vice. Where's the video from? Yeah, so this is a video from it's actually from Mixmag, right? Uh, we went to the UK's most insane festival, Mixmag Originals. Let's see if I can click this clip. Show, I'm show you the video. Hi, I'm Louis. You're watching Mixmag, and this is Bang Face Weekend. This is low sound over there. But yeah, it looks quite interesting. Man. I wouldn't actually mind going. This is Pontin Southport Holiday Park. You got people Bank here in day the glow the and uh, swaying left and right. You've got a guy here with a microphone inside the middle of a caravan park. It's just, it, it looks amazing. It looks like, um, what's that TV series? Is it Shameless? It looks like a, a scene out of Shameless, really. And that lives life at 200 BPM. It's pingers at Pontins. It's the ultimate sesh. Pingers at Pontins. I'm scared. <laughs> looks really fun. I would actually love how to go. You, how, how is your head? Your hair is fucking magnificent. <laughs> Helena, where are It's Helena Health as well. <laughs> because I've been trying to figure out where the fuck we are for like a couple of hours now. Well, I know where you are, but I have absolutely no idea where I am. There's some people here playing in, in the... There's a swimming pool, DJ in the swimming pool. Which is sick. What are your names? I'm Bimbo and this is... Billy Willy. My, my, he's my husband. Are you ready to save some lives? <laughs> There's a lifeguard here that looks maybe, I don't know, just over 65, which is I'm not sure how confident I'll be about having that as my lifeguard when I'm, you know, um, sinking in a swimming pool here, covered in day glow paint, but you know. It's annoying, I get that as well. <laughs> Some girls trying to kiss the presenter on camera, which is very weird. <laughs> it just looks really flipping weird, man. It looks like a really fun oh, festival. I'd love to actually go. Bang Face's very own TV channel. Bang Face is dominated by white men. own TV show too. Um, <laughs> how are you hoping that people Green react? Green screen background as per usual. Probably about three pills deep, a couple hours sleep, and they turn on the TV and it's like, we're going to talk about race and how many of you are white and so on and so forth. <laughs> they can fucking deal with it. Yeah. We've taken the piss out of Bangface quite a lot, but they've never said, can you not take the piss out of us? That's pretty cool, man. So yeah, um, that's Bangface Weekend. Uh, um, it's happening 2020, March 
is it 12th or 13th to the 16th so it's pretty early in the year for festival season i know some people like to go a bit later on when it's a bit more hotter and stuff but yeah it's a good way to kind of maybe that's a good way to kind of break in the whole festival season get in there nice and early but yeah bang face weekend check it out if you're interested very very um very kooky and probably a better maybe a more of an accurate representation of the kind of current uk electronic music landscape it's a little bit it kind of lends itself back again to um, the old you know back in the day videos i've seen of people throwing raves on the field they were usually playing this sort of music right every, every the, you know the bpm was always above 130 plus and stuff so probably an accurate representation of that again it's in the holiday park in pontins i remember most of my, most of my uh, friends in school used to go to those kind of places as holidays during the summer during the summer months so again i, I guess it'll bring back a lot of memories for some of the people that go there back in the day from stuff that they do their childhood but i think now it'll be pretty interesting to go loads of cool international guests there as well and probably just a cool um uh cool crowd in general, in general. um so again but again loads of the dressing up stuff i'm not a big fan of but I quite like I quite like the festival by itself. I think it looks really interesting. Uh, 